Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hey guys, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Let's have a look, just checking that this is streaming okay. It is perfect. How is everybody? Welcome guys, welcome to this live training. Welcome to this live training with me, Kelly McHugh. I'm the founder of Digital Yoga Academy. So I'm going live on Instagram and also inside the Facebook group. And uh, my live stream into the Facebook group is actually happening via Zoom, okay? So it looks like everything's working okay, which is brilliant, that's really good. So as you start to join guys, say hello. Do let me know where you're watching from, if you're on Instagram or on Facebook. Say hi in the comment box, let me know where you're watching from. I am doing a live training right now and it's all about, well, I'm gonna be sharing with you five platforms for live streaming your online yoga classes, okay? That's why you're joining me right now. So I'm just gonna wait a few moments before I get into the content, just allow people to join inside the Facebook group. So whilst we are waiting, just say in the comments where you're, where you're watching from, let me know where you guys are watching from. So happy that you are here, that you've joined me. So hello, hello. So hey Meg, how are you? Hey Philip, how are you? Where are you guys watching from? Where are you watching from? So I'm gonna be sharing today five platforms, five platforms for live streaming your online yoga classes. For live streaming your online yoga classes. So we've got um, Love Yoga Blossom from Toronto and Canada. Hello, hello. Well done, guys. As you start to join the room on Facebook and on Instagram, let me know where you guys are watching from, okay? Let me know where you're watching from. So we've got uh, uh, Katia from Quebec and Canada. Harjit's here, hello. Chastity, Chastity from Washington. Nikki, Ashville, brilliant guys. Hello, who have we got here? Chanel in Nottingham. Hey, cool. So I've got a question for you guys. Um, who is currently doing online classes? Who's live streaming right now? Who's live streaming right now? <laughs> um, so just type yes in the comments if you are live streaming right now. Have you transitioned your students to an online offering, to an online class? Let me know in the comments so I can just start to establish where we're at in this group right now, where we're at. So let's have a look, let's have a look. So who we've got, so guys, are you live streaming? Just yes or no, yes or no. Harjit says yes, Katia, yes, brilliant, amazing. So many of you have, Ali says yes. What about you guys on Instagram? Are you live streaming your online classes right now? Have you transitioned your students over to an online class? Um, and many of you have, which is so cool. I mean, you know, over the last month, especially in the Facebook group, so many of you have been taking action. Lots of you have been hopping onto live platforms and you've been getting your classes online which is absolutely amazing um, but just as many of you are struggling with this and there's two main reasons why the first reason so number one is that the tech and just the setup of everything um, you know for instance how to integrate your, the live streaming platform with a booking and payment system just becomes very overwhelming. So that's the first reason, and that can kind of keep you stuck. And then the second reason is that you have a lack of a community. So these are the people who are obviously gonna pay you for your online class. So I want you to share in the comments now, for you, if, you aren't, if you're not online right now, okay, if you've not yet got your classes online, what is the main reason? Is it one or two, or is it both? Okay, what is it? Share in the comment box. What is the reason, the main reason why you haven't got your classes set up and running live just yet? Is it one, because of the tech overwhelm? Or is it two, because you don't have the online community to fill those classes? I'd absolutely love to know. So do let me know in the comments. Oh, 
bear me one second what's going on here one sec let me just there we go hey i can see it now okay so 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 harjit says no not my students as they're see they're senior but to new students from the facebook group uh so one or two guys which one is it which one is it? Both, but more tech overwhelm, Nikki says. Okay, so what I want you guys to understand, so Philip says number two, perfect. What I, got, what I want you guys to understand is that showing up online is really where you need to be right now, okay? Your class is the very thing that someone needs, okay? And right now we're in quite a unique um position because or unique situation because there's such a huge active online audience like more people than ever are online and they're spending more of their time online okay just think about your own behavior right now and that means that there's more people out there that you can reach with your message and attract into your community when you know how and more people than ever are working from home, okay? They're using Zoom, they're using other platforms to connect with their colleagues around the world. And this is quite, this is good for us because it actually makes adoption to your online class easier because they're, they're familiar with the online platforms and they understand how to use them, okay? So it makes adoption easier. Also, the other thing to consider is there's more people at home right now, overeating, over drinking, and they just need something to stay fit and healthy, okay? So, now is the time, if you haven't made that transition just yet, to do it, you know? And there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing it, okay? And as I said previously, you know, it might be that it's just tech overwhelm, or perhaps it's just that you lack some strategies to um, actually grow your community. And both of those are easily addressed, right? So that's just to set the scene. But today I'm gonna to be sharing with you five platforms. So five options for you to consider to, to live stream your online yoga classes. And I'm talking about live streaming here today. I'm not talking about pre-recorded video co content. I'm talking about you going live, okay? So I'll discuss the platforms, the five platforms, and I'm gonna share the pros and cons of each and the budgets that, that you'll need as well, okay? So let me just check, am I coming through okay in Facebook? Do, will someone let me know if I'm coming through okay in Facebook? been a little bit dodged the last few days so do let me know if the picture and everything sound and everything is coming through okay okay before we start before we start um some of you here have shared that you're already live streaming but i'd love to know what platform you're using okay can you share can you share that share the platforms that you're using already right now in the comments what platforms are you using guys to live stream your classes and are you having any problems with them? What are the challenges that you're facing? What difficulties are you having? Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. I understand, I understand Vicky. It's a bit off with the visual, I know. It's been a bit dodgy the last few days. Okay, so live streaming your, your yoga classes. <laughs> live streaming your yoga classes. So, um, Zoom, Zoom, Instagram, Zoom. Yeah, lots of you using Zoom. It's not surprising. Lots of you using Zoom, which is great. I mean, I'm using Zoom right now. I'm, I'm Zooming into Facebook, into the Facebook group right now. So brilliant. Yeah, keep that coming, keep that coming. So, you know, there's lots of advantages to live streaming um, to begin with. And not only do you get higher engagement because people are just drawn to real life you know they'd rather see you than a recorded video and you know it's more authentic and it really gives you a chance to to connect with your students um, in that live setting in that live room and i think you know with live videos your students are really given that opportunity to receive that um authenticity yeah so because it's real, you know, they're there with you. If you mess up your words or if something goes wrong, they're there with you. And your job is just to make things run smoothly and to kind of 
just go with it, go with the flow. So um, the other thing is that you can really engage with them before and after class. So you can have that two way conversation with them. You can answer questions from them. And it just gives that really nice interaction um, with your students. So there's so many reasons, you know, why it's such a great idea to get your classes online right now. And it, especially, you know, if before this whole situation, if say a month or so ago, you had in-person classes right now and you're not you, you haven't transitioned those students online like what are you doing come on we need to get with it we need to get ourselves online okay so um the fact that you're here right now and learning about it is is the best place to be so live streaming is a really great place to start and you know also if you have a vision and a goal for the future to create an asset in your business such as an online yoga course or a membership starting now by live streaming your class is really going to prepare prepare you for that in the future okay okay so let's begin so the first platform that i'm going to talk about today is zoom okay lots of you in the comments have um have said that you're using zoom right now which is great and zoom has been a very popular choice um, for live classes over the past month and one of the main reasons for that is because it works so well in terms of the student teacher interaction okay um, teachers can see their participants their students and Zoom makes it very easy to send invites to your students uh, through email um, with a simple link and also for you to control who joins the class. OK, so you can really easily set up a free account in Zoom, but it will only allow you 40 minutes of video. OK, so most of us want to be doing a class you know, at least an hour long. So for a longer class, you'd have to pay if you want to have if you want to access the more um, if you want access for more than 40 continuous minutes and the prices are really reasonable okay the pro account is 11.99 and i'm talking pounds here per month and that's great for teachers and there is also a business account which is 15.99 and it's perfect for studios that want to brand the experience for their students but once you've chosen your account which option you're going to go for. All you need to do is um, visit the meetings tab inside your dashboard and then just start adding your classes and you get the links for each of those classes and you can add your attendees in. So it's super simple, it's super simple. Now, Zoom has recently added some additional security measures, some features, and um, you can turn those on and off inside the settings okay so you'll see an option inside the settings for the weight room and this allows you to control who can come into the class and you know students can only enter when they're approved by you and this is great for um for you if you're offering a paid class which is what i want you guys to be doing you want to be filling your classes with paying students okay that is the goal and then the other thing that you can do is that you can add a password okay you can add a password for registered students to, to gain entry um but of course my thoughts really um, is that if you're scheduling each class as a separate meeting, OK, so let's say you've got a Monday 6 p.m. class, you've got a Wednesday 6 p.m. class, you've got a Friday 8 a.m. class, they're separate meetings. And if you schedule them separately, you're actually going to be generating a unique URL for each of those separate classes. So my thoughts really are that there's no need to add a waiting room or a password. I say keep it simple. And if you start um, sharing your general Zoom room URL, okay, so everybody who has a Zoom account has a general Zoom room URL, then there is a chance that people will share that link or that others um, could come into your your class okay Un, uninvited and that's you may have heard about this you may have heard about this zoom bombing that's been going on and it's basically hackers who are guessing urls and then joining but i'd say to this that you know that's pretty slim the chances of that happening is pretty slim right but it has been reported 
the benefits of Zoom completely outweigh that minor risk, okay, because it's very, very interactive. You know, the teacher is able to see the students in gallery view. And I guess seeing the students can really give that um, studio feel to it. Yeah, it can give that um, the studio class feel and the personal element to both you as the teacher and also your students as well. OK, so Zoom is really a great option. OK, it's affordable. There's also a chat room that you can use before and after class. You can turn on and off the video and the audio settings for your students as well. So it really allows you to be interactive. And the other great thing about it is that you can stream live into a Facebook group, which is what I'm doing right now. OK, so it must be a group that you're an admin of. And this is great because it means that it allows your um, your students to join you via Zoom, but also if you have a Facebook group for your students, you can be you can be zooming into your Facebook group as well, and those viewers can watch there in the platform that they're used to hanging out in, and they can comment on your Facebook Live and so on. And it just means that if people can't actually join you live, they can watch the replay inside Facebook in inside the Facebook group, and that's going to add to the engagement and so on and just adds that real community feel. So that's a really great, um, great feature with, with Zoom. Okay, so uh, to get Zoom, you simply just need to go to zoom.com and sign up and go to your account settings, get everything um, set up in terms of your privacy and, and the, the privacy settings that you want to, security settings that you want to, um, that you want to have and then and, and you're good to go okay so some other perks to zoom are that you can record the sessions and then you can repurpose that video in other places um, so for those of you that join these sessions with me um oft, quite often you'll you'll have heard me talking about repurposing uh, and that really just means cutting up the video, you know, slicing it up, using it in different places, such as your Instagram feed and your Facebook feed and so on. And you can record the whole group. Like if you're doing a discussion, let's say, um, the video will record whoever's talking, okay? Or you can pin it so that the video is just on you, which is what I recommend if you're streaming a class, because you don't really want to record the participants if their audio suddenly switches on and, and so on. Okay, so that's really Zoom in a nutshell. The other great thing about Zoom is, and I will show you this feature um, for those of you in, face, in the Facebook group, I will show you this feature um, in a short while, but you can also screen share with Zoom, which is brilliant, okay? Um, so that's perhaps not so important for a, uh, for a yoga class, but let's say you're doing a webinar, um, then you might want to share something from your screen, okay? And yeah, lastly, I guess the thing, the last thing to say with Zoom is that unlike um, Facebook or Instagram or Skype, the student doesn't have to have Zoom to attend a Zoom meeting, if that makes sense. So the student doesn't have to join Zoom and, um, you know, be a member of Zoom to attend the meeting. They simply click on the link and it opens up in, on, the, on their screen. OK, so that's Zoom. <laughs> and this is what I use in my business, what I'm using right now. OK, so another. Um, so let's have a look. Any questions on Zoom? Any questions on Zoom? So Ali says, do you get the replay on the Facebook groups with the free Zoom account? So you actually need a pro account to be able to access the feature that allows you to stream into, into a Facebook group. OK, so you, you'd have to go to your settings once you've got a pro account. So it's a paid for account. You go to your settings and you go to account management and account settings, and then you go to, um, there's like a toggle which says allow live streaming and enable Facebook, okay? Okay, can you see us via streaming, uh, via streaming through Zoom via Facebook? No, I can't see you in Facebook, I can't see you. If I'm in the Zoom 
if I'm in Zoom and you guys have joined via Zoom, then I can allow you into the screen, right? But because you guys are watching here in Facebook, I can't allow you into the screen right now, okay? We'd have to, I'd have to invite you into the Zoom room and bring you in that way, okay? Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so Rita, hopefully that explained how, it, how the setup works. She was just asking, how do you stream live into Facebook from Zoom? Yeah, so you can record, um, you can record in Zoom and then you save that onto your desktop. You can record the video and the audio. But if you're doing that regularly, I suggest, you know, having a, um, a hard drive, a separate hard drive that you can that you can uh, save those videos onto because obviously it's going to take up a lot of space on your um, on your computer. Okay, so that's Zoom. So next up, Facebook Live. Okay, Facebook Live. So this option really is to use a Facebook group and to go live inside that group. Okay, now this is a free option, right? It's a free option, but it has its limitations and. The great thing about it, the main benefit of it, apart from the fact that it's free, is that people are already on Facebook, right? People are already on Facebook. So it's familiar, it's the platform that we use. And so you're not asking them to go to another platform, okay? Um, and the other thing about it is that a group offers a real sense of community, yeah? And in a time like this, where we're dealing with social distancing, and lockdown community is key right so think about you know your um your regular students who have been coming to your your in-person classes those regular students you can invite into a facebook group and they can keep in touch with one another and this is really powerful because everybody is supporting everyone and coming together at a time when it's needed most yeah so i love facebook groups and obviously you guys in in our facebook group here you know it's it's a great community it's an awesome community um, and there's so much going on and you're all helping each other and i think you know you just get the support that you need inside a group like this so it's powerful guys you know if you especially if you've got an existing community that you've been doing in person classes with why have you not set up a group like why have you not created a group for those people so that they can continue to engage with one another and being and stay in contact you know they see each other every every week in the studio on their mat before and after class and you know suddenly for the last month they've not been able to do that invite them into an online studio, invite them into an online space where they can connect with each other. So Facebook groups are great and Facebook Live, you know, it's a powerful feature within, um, within Facebook. And again, it allows that real immediate, authentic and interactive um, functionality, yeah? I mean, it's not as interactive as Zoom because you can't see your people, right? You can't see your students there, but they can interact with you. There is the chat, which you guys are in right now, you know, you can, you can show your love, you can comment. So you can have that conversation before and after class, which is, which is just as powerful. Um, but as I said, the main limitation here is that you can't see your students. Yeah. They're not joining you inside the live room in the way that they do with Zoom. So really with a page for class, which is what I want you to get at, I want you to be you know, filling your classes with pay, paying students. The idea here is that you invite your students who have paid for your classes up front into a private members only group, okay? Now, the best way to do this, to kind of reduce your admin, um, would be to offer a monthly package, okay? And this one, this, this way, you know, everyone who's inside the group for at least a month, and then if they don't renew their membership or they don't renew their package review, then they're removed from the group, okay? So that's kind of the easiest way to manage that, because uh, obviously it is a bit manual. Um, and, you know, obviously there, when, when they sign up to your class, you want to be having some kind of automated email going out to them to confirm that, they, that the classes are running and when they're running. But the great thing about it being in Facebook is that they get the notifications. So when you go live, they just know that they're, they're tuning into your classes at just the right time. Okay. Now, for you as the teacher, 
all you need to do is tap the live stream icon and then you simply start broadcasting live from your smartphone or from your, your laptop as I am now, okay? Um, at the end of the video, you just tap on finish and at that point, the video is then posted and it's permanently available, you know, inside the group, okay? You can also download that video. So that's a really great thing. You can download the video, you can, again, repurpose it and so on, okay? So Facebook uh, groups and Facebook Live is a great option for you guys and it's a free option, okay? So don't discount it, but do think about how you manage the admin side of things and, you know, allowing people into the group who have paid how you manage that. Okay, any questions on Facebook Live and Facebook groups? Um, <laughs> okay, so we're two down, two out of the five. Okay, so the next one we have is YouTube, YouTube Live. Anyone using YouTube Live right now? So I'm not talking about uploading videos, I'm talking about you guys streaming live into YouTube, okay? And again, this is another way to reach your audience in real time, yeah? Um, you know, whether you're going to be, um, whether you're going to be live streaming your yoga class, or maybe you're hosting a live Q&A to talk about your online yoga course that's open for enrollment, okay? So YouTube is another way to do that. And uh, let's have a look. Rita says, how can you live stream from a Mac? I keep trying to go live from there and can't. From into Facebook, into Facebook, you just, it's just in the Facebook platform and you know where you write the post into your group or onto your page, there's an option that says live and you just click on it. Super simple, super easy. So Rita says, no, not on YouTube yet. Hodge, it's not on YouTube. Um, okay, so YouTube has like a back end with a load of tools to help you with the videos and live streaming and so on. First of all, you need to create a channel then you need to get your channel verified. So that's usually with your mobile phone. And then you need to enable live streaming, okay? But before you begin to um, live stream, you need, to, you need a specific app, okay? Or a piece of software that enables encoding, okay? So once you set this up, then you come back to the stream, the live streaming screen to, to launch and customize your um, live stream, okay? So this is from your desktop, okay? So I'm talking from your desktop here, okay? And as I said, you need this encoding software. So this is what's used to capture what your camera sees, okay? Or what your microphone hears and what your desktop is showing to send out to your students. And there's lots of apps to do this. And when you're at that stage in the process, you'll see, um, you'll see the list of apps that, that Google or YouTube, um, that they have as verified encoders for your YouTube live, okay? Um, but, Hands up if this sounds a bit complicated, because <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Just the language alone can just feel a little bit heavy, I, I feel. And the only way to get around this is to get around using an, an encoder. The only way to get around using an encoder is to use a webcam, okay? So this way you can go live without the need of an encoder. And really an encoder is just an app. It is actually quite simple, but it sounds a bit complicated. And what I suggest for you guys is that you don't have to set up this kind of stuff. Like you should just be clicking live, go live, and it happens. Like what you get in, um, you know, in Facebook Live or like what you do in Zoom, right? Um, so... But if you are using a webcam, then you just click go, you just click go live. So it is actually easy if you're using a webcam. But I think for you know your yoga class, it's likely that you'll be using other equipment besides a webcam, you know, things for your audio perhaps, or maybe you want to capture a bit better, better uh, picture than a webcam provides. So you'll need to, to set up the encoder for that reason. And I just feel like it's a little bit complicated, yeah? Um, you'd also have to set up a private link for your paying students so that it's not going out to all of your subscribers. And the other thing is you can't see your students. So I don't feel like this is the best option. Um, I think if you are building up your, um, 
your YouTube channel and you've got lots of subscribers, then looking into this to go live could be a really great option for you because all of those subscribers are gonna get notified that you're live, just in the same way that Facebook does. But remember, YouTube is a powerful video platform, okay? So you could get some real reach there in, in YouTube, but I think that it's more suited if you're wanting to stream to all of your subscribers rather than just your paying students. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so next up, and I'm grouping this together. Okay, so we've had, what have we had? Zoom, Facebook, we've had uh, YouTube Live. Next up, this is number four, and I'm grouping this together, but I'm grouping together Skype and Google Hangouts. Okay, because at least to me, they seem kind of simil uh, similarly uh, limited in the scope, I guess. They're both free. Um, they're both good for conference calling and screen sharing. However, your students need to be a member of both of these sites, okay, to kind of join a meeting with you. And with Skype, anybody using Skype? So you may have used Skype for video calls in the past. Um, you know, especially in business, Skype is really popular, although Zoom seems to have kind of overtaken. Um, but with Skype, you can have up to 50 people on a call, you can record the call, you can mute people. And, um, you know, it, it's pretty good for calls, but I don't feel for a yoga class, it's really that well suited. Okay, I've not been able to find an easy way to kind of edit how the video that's recorded, um, that's recorded inside Skype. And I just feel like it's a little bit awkward if you want to record and replay a live class stream. So Holly says, I use Skype for the day job. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and then the same with Google Hangouts. You know, again, people need to be or need to have a Gmail account. Um, I think you can only get 25 people on a video call. Um, yeah, I think, and also I think you can only record the videos if you have an enterprise account. Or, or the enterprise edition. So I don't feel that these are really the best places, the best platforms for, um, for live streaming your yoga classes, really. They're, they're great for other things, you know, to have kind of calls with your students maybe, perhaps you're getting your students on a call with you to talk about the ideas that you have for your online yoga course to help you validate them. Maybe you'll get them on Skype for that or Google Hangouts. Um, but yeah, for your yoga class, there's definitely better options. Okay, so you've had four options right now. And then the final option I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is Instabook. Anybody heard of Instabook? Instabook. So Instabook is a really simple way to fill more spaces on, on of your online class, yeah? And the reason for this is that it integrates live streaming a booking system and a payment system. Okay, it's all rolled into one. Anybody using Instabook? So I actually use Instabook. I've been using Instabook for the last four years for my classes here in London. And as of last week, the online classes that we're now um, that we're now that we've now launched for Good Yoga Life. This is my other business. We're now, we've now launched them through Instabook as well. And they've made it really easy to um, to kind of retain your students really, uh, because it's just a really seamless journey for your students. You know, it allows them to um, manage their schedule and to pay you and to actually join the class. So it's super easy, super simple. And I know that lots of you, especially from all the comments and the posts that I'm seeing inside our Facebook group, are having issues with these integrations, you know, how to set up your calendar and the booking and the payments and how does it all work together. So. This is why I really wanted to share Instabook with you guys today, because it does allow you to do all these things seamlessly and really easy. And this is what we want, right? We want an easy life. So um, from your client's perspective, from your student's perspective, they can view your schedule, they can book, they can buy, they can cancel classes. Um, you can set up classes, courses, workshops, all sorts of things. And it just means that you're open for business, right? Even when you're not, like it's all happening in the background and that's that's kind of what you want. Um, 
it can be managed from um, you know any device and as I said you can set up your classes to um, or you can set up like courses or you can set up workshops to be on a recurring weekly or, or a one-off basis and in terms of like the packages that that are available you know students can pay for a drop-in so a one-off they can pay for um, class packs, so you can set up lots of different class packs. <laughs> and there can be recurring monthly memberships. There's lots of different ways that people can buy. So th that makes it really great for you because you know the way that you wanna package up your offering, there's lots of flexibility there, okay? So as I said, this is what I've been using for the last four years and we're also now live streaming. So let me come on to that. So the live streaming options, uh, yes, this is Instabook that I'm talking about. There are two options, right? There are two options when it comes to live streaming. There's live streaming your classes via Zoom, or there's the option to um, there's the option to use Instabook's embedded live feed. Okay, so this is a feature that they've recently launched and it's really nice. Okay, so from your students uh, perspective, it just looks, it looks really nice because it's inside a platform, it's branded with your logo, it's got the look and feel, it's a nice big screen for them to kind of see what you're doing. And if you use that option, if you use Instabook's inbuilt um, functionality, it means that you don't have to have Zoom, right? So it means you don't have to have that additional, um, additional cost, yeah? Um, and that, that live feed that's happening, that, that's inbuilt inside the Instabook platform will be totally branded with your logo and your look and feel. So it's really quite an awesome option for you. And I'm loving this system, okay? Um, so as I said, we started using it last week, but we are integrating it with Zoom. So when a student books, they book their class and then they'll receive an email that has the link to um to the the class which they simply click on it just opens it up or they can go back into the instabook platform and there's a link there that says join live class and then again it just automatically opens up the zoom room okay so it's super super easy super super easy um so uh blah, blah, what else is going to say okay so um Zoom also has um, inbuilt communication uh, functionality. So in terms of like when somebody books something, they get an email. If they cancel a class, they get an email to confirm it. It's also hooked up with the payment system. So it's all really seamless right from the beginning to the end. And um, let's have a look. Any questions on this, guys? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions on Instabook? Instabook, Instabook. So Instabook is what I'm actually going to be teaching you guys to use inside the online yogi. So some of you are inside the online yogi. I've got Jenny. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> Who else is going to be with me inside the online yogi? Rita, you, you joined today. I saw that. So Rachna says, can Instabook, Instabook record a session for archive? OK, so if you're using Zoom, then yes, it can if you're using Zoom because Zoom will record it. Um, I'm not sure if the Instabook inbuilt, <laughs> if the Instabook inbuilt functionality um, records it. Um, so that's a question. I will pose that question to Instabook to see, see what they say about that. Um, so Instabook, um, one of the girls from Instabook, her name is Jenny. She's actually going to be going live inside the online, <laughs> inside the online yogi on Saturday to talk through, to demo through the system and also to answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, 
So also any students that are inside the online yogi with me, and I'll talk to you about it in a moment, are also going to be getting a 20% discount on the system as well. So I've negotiated that with them so that you guys can get a discount and get a 20% discount. So the standard price for Instabook is £40. So you'd get 20% off that. So if you think about like what you might be paying for Zoom and also um, any booking systems that you're using, it actually works out about the same. So that's really great. And I really want you to, you guys to get online. So who else is here now that's not currently streaming their online classes? Who else is here that's not currently streaming your online classes? So, and the other thing is, the other question I have for you is, you know, maybe you might be streaming your online class, but you're struggling with filling it, struggling to fill it with paying students. Hands up if that is you. Hands up if that is you. Because I know some of you watching are currently streaming your classes, but are you struggling to pay? Uh, are you struggling to fill those classes with paying students? Let me know in the comments. OK, so tomorrow we're kicking off the online yogi and this is a seven day seven day virtual business retreat. OK, um, it's going to be starting tomorrow for the next seven days and it's live. OK, it's the first time I've done something like this. All of my programs are like three months or six months long. They're coaching programs. They have um, pre-recorded video lessons, live elements where I do coaching sessions and Q&As. Um, and, and accountability inside private groups, okay? My programs start from $1,000 upwards. So this is the first time that I've offered something like this that is um, really um, transformative over a seven day period. And the reason it's transformative guys is because I've created it so that you really take action. Like if you're coming into this seven days with me, unable to fill your classes with paying students or you don't have your classes set up right now by the end of the seven days you'll have your classes set up and you'll have the tools and strategies to be able to fill those classes with paying students that's what i want from you and i'm offering a money back guarantee so there's zero risk to actually join but the reason it's transformative as well is that you're going to be joining me three times a day live okay so in the morning there's a training session and each day is themed in the morning is a training session. In the afternoon, there's a coaching session. In the evening, there's a live Q&A. You get all of your questions answered with me every single day. And we're going to be focusing on getting your virtual classroom set up. So that's going to be using Zoom and or Instabook. Yeah, so I'm going to be inviting Instabook into the uh, retreat with us to um, run through the platform and to answer all your questions. I'm going to be going through Zoom in a lot of detail so you really understand all the settings and integrations with your email service provider and so on. And then we're going to be focusing on growing your community and promoting your classes and filling them with paying students. OK, so that is what this seven day virtual business retreat is all about. And it wouldn't be a retreat if it didn't have some retreat magic okay and um, so by that i mean yoga i mean yoga and meditation so there are yoga and meditation classes happening inside our private group every single day so to give you a big dose of zen the sessions are uh, roughly around um an hour long okay so they're roughly around an hour long so either you join live you know obviously i'm in the uk the sessions are happening at 10 a.m 3 p.m and 7 p.m uk time but wherever you are in the world you can still take part in this right so you when you get up you just catch the replay and then you try and catch me live if it if it suits your schedule which for most of us right now you should be able to join at least you know, one or two sessions live, I would say. Um, and the, the, everything's pre recorded, there's uh, replays, and you get lifetime access to all of the content as well. So, um, what else can I tell you about it? What else can I tell you? So, to join, it's $147. And as I said previously, you know, all of my programs are $1,000 upwards, but I really felt this deep need right now to provide this at a really affordable price so that you guys can get the knowledge and, you know, the strategies that you need right now to thrive. 
and there are there's payment plans so there's a two month payment plan and today i've also added a three month payment plan okay so making it really easy for you guys to join this um and uh, my connection is poor on instagram hopefully didn't cut out too much you also get access guys to two of my online courses right you get access to the essential foundations to teach yoga online okay and you also get access to facebook ads for yogi preneurs okay those two courses alone come to nearly six hundred dollars any questions for me any questions guys i'm really excited about this and one of the main reasons that i'm so excited about it is because i know that the content i'm going to be sharing with you is going to get you from a to b but also i love showing up live so you know this is the part of my programs the live elements that i thrive on and i buzz on and you know really it is the highlight of my day so um yeah i'm super super excited we've got 120 people who are joining who have joined um so come and join them come and join them there's 120 teachers who will be taking part in in this virtual business retreat with me and we're inviting you now to come and join us any questions for me any questions for me so really, this is for you if you don't yet have your classes set up, you don't yet have your online classes set up. And also if you do have your classes set up, but you're struggling to fill them and you're struggling to grow your community, okay? I'm gonna be really focusing on that for you guys as well. So you've got some real solid strategies that you can use to fill your classes up with paying students. <laughs> Jenny says, thank you for offering such an amazing gift, excited um about the business retreat yeah me too me too i'm super excited about it i can't wait to start tomorrow and um some of the students from one of my other programs the profitable yoga teacher they will be in fact one of them has just joined on instagram hey zaz <laughs> so some of my lovely students from the profitable yoga teacher program um will be hosting uh, live yoga and meditation sessions inside our group from tomorrow so every single day there will be a yoga and meditation schedule as well because it wouldn't be a virtual retreat without that right um, so yeah a little bit of retreat magic for you there okay so i guess i should share the um the link <laughs> let me share the link with you guys one second so if you're on Instagram and you want to join, if you want to join the online yogi, go to the link in my bio. And if you're on Facebook, if you're on Facebook inside the group, there are posts about it, but I'm just going to pop the link here in the comments as well. So hopefully you can see that. Um, if you're on my email list, you probably received an email about it today that just recaps everything. So the new payment plan over three months, there's a payment plan now, which means you can join at $52 a month for the next three months. And the yoga schedule, I announced that today. What else do I announce? The zero risk, so money back guarantee. I'm sure there was a couple more announcements in there, but you, you go and find your email. <laughs> and you'll be able to find that. So any questions for me guys, before I shoot off, before I finish up today, um, thank you for being here in this community. You make, you make this community. So thank you so much for being here. Um, and give yourself a thank you for showing up. You know, you're showing up, you're wanting to take action here to actually get your classes online or to fill your communities. And that is a beautiful thing. So. Any questions for me? Any questions? Any questions inside the group or on Insta Instagram? Instagram. And of course, those of you that join are going to get that 20% discount for Instabook as well. So you'll get that on Saturday. You'll receive that. Anything else? Hmm. Dina says, thank you for today. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, so, okay, so I think we're all good. So, uh, let's have a look. Rita says, super excited. I hope Emma, my friend Emma will join too. 
also seen a few others cannot wait yes me too really excited about this it's going to be a massive highlight for everybody i'm sure so okay so if you do have any questions of course, you can reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, uh, send me a private message, or you can send me an email, kelly at digitalyogaacademy.com. And amazing, guys. Thank you for being here. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? Take care. Lots of love, lots of love. Bye now.